Red and I ended up having a good run in Memphis, but eventually we wanted to check out some of the other indie hotspots around the country. And after a year or so of bouncing around, we made a name for ourselves in LA, where the indie scene was really taking off. That's it. I'm leaving without you. You can't do that. We're a package deal, remember? Besides, look who's headed our way. Mm, great. I was wondering if she'd show up. Relax. I'm not here to start anything, so don't get your collective skivvies in a bunch. This is the one day to put any past differences aside and honor your achievements, so congratulations. You've earned everything that's coming to you tonight. What was that? Maybe she has a conscience after all. I seriously doubt that. Forget her. Let's get back to your story. I think LA was where I first saw you two wrestle in person. Remember? We ended up having that series of matches against each other. How could I forget? It led to one of the most embarrassing nights of my career. We'd battled each other in just about every type of match, except for one that also happened to be on the list. Wrestle in a crybaby match. And since you had the first and only crybaby match with Razor Ramon back in the day, this was the perfect time to cross it off. Check your ID, people. We ask you to please clean up after yourself. If you don't, we'll have to hire a cleaning crew and raise ticket prices. And nobody wants that. Thank you. 
merchandise stand will be open until 30 minutes after the show, so enjoy the event and come check out all the latest stuff on your way out. Or don't. Less work for me. seen that before. Sorry I put your friend in a diaper, but there was no way I was going to let that happen to me again. Maybe it'll teach him to stop putting ridiculous things on our list, but probably not. Hey, this isn't public knowledge yet, so keep it on the DL. The WWE is going to be holding an all-women's tournament later this year. That's amazing! Yeah, they're calling it the Mae Young Classic. Triple H asked me to keep an eye out for talent, so I'll be watching your match tonight against Candice LeRae. Don't hold back. I never do. Ooh. Oh, this stuff's all in my eyes. I can't see. I think I'm going blind. <laughs> I don't know why he's so cranky. I fed him and changed his diaper. <laughs> Any chance he can babysit during my match? Ah, <laughs> the collapsed crane situation it still sucks both sides of the 405 remain closed if you don't live nearby in the valley you might as well sleep in your car if it hasn't been broken into Not so friendly reminder, there is no smoking allowed in the building. If we get fined, you pay it. Plus it's gross.
getting requests to do birthday announcements, and the answer is no. This isn't a baseball game, people. We've been informed that a guy here has lost his wedding ring. If you find it, please turn it in or just pawn it. I don't care. Leave our celebrity guests alone. They know you're big fans of their movies and TV shows. Just let them watch the match. Look, you two are great, so I wish I could recommend you both for the Mae Young Classic, but Hunter said they're only looking to fill one spot right now. You're really milking this decision. <laughs> Get it? Because the crybaby match earlier? I've been hanging out with Trey too much. Please, continue. I'm gonna have to recommend Candace. She's been doing this for over 15 years. Red, you've got a ton of potential, but you don't have anywhere near that kind of experience. Yeah, totally. I get it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm sure we'll see each other again in the future. Like he said, I've been doing this a really long time, and you're one of the best I've ever seen. And you're only gonna get better. I appreciate that. Uh, I gotta go call my husband and tell him the good news. No guarantees, but I'll definitely keep you in mind if WWE ends up doing this tournament again. Give me your contact info before you leave tonight, okay? I will. Thanks. Hey, I overheard what Xbox said. This is just a bump in the road. And tonight wasn't a total loss. At least I get to cross off wrestle in a crybaby match. Give me that. Ugh, it smells like butt sweat. I told you not to keep the list in your tights. Cost of doing business. Win May Young Classic Tournament. See if you can air that out. As our indie journey continued over the next couple of years, we got to have matches in a lot of cool places. But the one that stood out most was when we got to do a special show back in our hometown. You've got to be kidding me. And we thought our head couldn't get any bigger. You know what? I'm not going to let a stupid sign ruin this for us. Let's go. This was our chance to show our friends and family just how far we had come. Well, at least our friends.
So what happens if your parents show up tonight? First of all, as far as I'm concerned, they're not even really my parents anymore. But if they did show up, then security can deal with it. I'm not gonna let anyone pick and choose when they want to have my back, especially now that I'm having a little bit of success. But you haven't talked to them since Calgary, which was like four years ago. Maybe it's time you give them another chance. Another chance to tell me I'm wasting my life and that I'm never gonna make it? Sorry, I don't need that. Besides, I paid them back their money, so the way I see it, we have nothing to discuss. Hey, I'm not shelling out an extra 20 bucks so you two can have a therapy session. I handed her the wrench, if that counts. Also, were you listening to our entire conversation? Hey, I get it. We've all got drama in our lives. I mean, look at me. Last year, I put on a mask and attacked my former protege, Buzz, costing him a shot at WWE. Then he wouldn't return my phone calls or texts for like a year. No one wanted to work with me, and BCW folded. But... Then I stuck up for Buzz to AJ Styles. And the next thing you know, I'm in Buzz's corner at WrestleMania, and now I'm in the process of rebuilding BCW. That's a lot of very specific information. Yeah. What's your point? My point is, I turn chicken crap into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign ex exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new BCW. <laughs> um no thanks. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Your loss. <laughs> Because FYI, I am this close to getting Cole Quinn on board. <laughs> Big things are happening. Hey, speak of the handsome devil. Let's go talk numbers, shall we? At that, 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 slow your roll, Greeny. <laughs> this guy. I feel like we really dodged a bullet there. More like a cannonball. That guy's a total nightmare. And here comes another one. What is she doing here? Holy crap, is that hothead Red and Trey? You two picking up some extra work to make your trailer payments, or is this some kind of prison work release program? It's just Red now, and we're wrestling tonight. And also, we don't live in trailers. We stay in hotel rooms that have microwaves, which seemed a lot more impressive before I said it. Wait, you actually became pro wrestlers? <laughs> I get to see your uncoordinated bodies flop around this ring tonight? <laughs> She's got good lungs. Of course I do. I'm an elite MMA competitor. If you haven't heard, the American hero Brooklyn Von Braun is undefeated. More like American Zero. What's that? Nothing. You realize Kurt Angle is already known as the American hero, right? You probably should ask him for permission to use his nickname like Ronda Rousey did with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Kurt Ankle? Never heard of him. If anything, he should ask me permission to use my name since I'm way more famous. I'll chat with my lawyer about it. Thanks for the heads up. Why are you here? You're obviously not a pro wrestling fan. No. Gross. There's a ceremony after your stupid show to rename the gym in my honor. The town sign wasn't enough? It wasn't. I actually wanted it bigger. Couldn't you have picked any other night to do this? Do you think I chose to share my special night with a professional wrestling event? That'd be like eating a giant bowl of turd soup before having the best steak of your life. I have a loaded schedule and tonight was my only avail. How much longer would it have taken to say availability? I told you, I'm busy. Every second counts. I've already wasted way too much time talking to you carnies. I'll have you know, we've wrestled at several carnivals and their employees are some of the finest people around. Other than that tilt-a-whirl operator who bit me when I asked him what time it was. There's always exceptions. Cool story. Looking forward to seeing you tap again tonight, Red. You know, just like old times. Whoa, 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 you could kill someone with that. I know, that's the point. Don't let her get under your skin and ruin our night. We'll do our thing, and then she can do her stupid gym dedication. It'll be totally separate. I'm sure we won't even notice her.
here's a scoop for you. I'm currently in negotiations with Cole Quinn to sign a long-term exclusive deal with BCW. In fact, I bet he'll sign on the dotted line right after this match. and just listens to the sweet sound of my voice, I promise the misery will soon be over. manure. ceremony later tonight, it will help cleanse your palate of whatever this is. submission hold, she gives up immediately. In fact, she's been tapped more than shoulders. <laughs> yes, it's finally over. And best of all, Red lost just like I knew she would. Now we can move on to the real reason everyone's here, the renaming of the gym in my honor.
Being in this gym brings back so many memories. I won my first amateur match here. I broke barriers and records here as the captain of the otherwise all-male wrestling team. I qualified for states here. I dominated gym class dodgeball here. I won prom and homecoming queen here. I once saved Mr. Durkis from choking on a hot dog here. The banner actually isn't that bad. I was expecting something more obnoxious. I know, me too. So that's why it's my pleasure to officially christen this the Brooklyn Von Braun Gymnasium for Athletic Excellence. Isn't it amazing? I want to thank the school board for cutting the music program to help fund this. Totally worth it. I'm confused. Did she go to space before or after she was Pope? I think I'm going to throw up. Aim towards the mural, if you can. I can't believe we got totally upstaged and embarrassed by Brooklyn. Not much has changed. I know! We've come a long way, but it still feels like we're the same losers who used to sit at this table back in high school. At least my parents didn't show up and make a scene. Hey, I was thinking, maybe I should try to track down my real parents. They sent that letter back in high school, so maybe there's still hope with them. Uh, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that letter. What about it? Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, it's an Orlando number. Take it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it's a good time to talk. It's Sarah Amato from NXT. Oh. I got your number from Xbox. He saw you on a show in LA a couple years ago and said you were great. Oh, yeah, that was the same night he put my friend in a diaper. <laughs> what? Never mind, had to be there. Anyways, the reason I'm calling is to see if you'd like to compete in the third annual May Young Classic. What? Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, are you there? Hello. Um, I'm here, and I'm in for the May Young Classic. Yeah. <laughs> Great. We'll be in touch soon with travel arrangements, and congratulations. Being included in this tournament is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. <laughs> we'll talk soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? Maybe this night wasn't so bad after I all. I know! After I missed out on the first May Young Classic and then didn't hear anything last year, I thought I'd never get another shot, but it's happening <laughs> and I'm not going to settle for just being included. I'm gonna win the whole damn thing. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> we should celebrate. By throwing rocks at Brooklyn's stupid face. That might be a bit extreme. I mean, what size rocks are we talking? I meant her face on the sign coming into town. Oh, yeah, yeah, that seems slightly more reasonable. Hey, hey, what did you want to tell me about the letter? Oh. Um. Never mind. It's not important. Besides, there's a sign that needs vandalizing, remember? True. I'll go round up some good throwing rocks. That's a great idea. I'll meet you at the car in a minute. Cool. Whoa, that's a shock. He's always wanted to meet his birth parents, and now that we know what happened... What are we going to say when he asks about them? I, I really don't think he can handle the, the truth that they're dead. Do you? No. No, it would crush him. But what's the alternative, honey? Just let him believe they're still out there somewhere and they don't care enough to ever contact him? I, I, I don't know. I, I wish there was a way to keep his hope alive, but not hurt him. <sighs> Me too. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did. But we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams, no matter what they might be. To become anything you want. We'll find you someday. Love always, Mom and Dad. Please, don't tell him our secret about the letter. It's not going to help anything.
Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, sorry. Let's do this! See you over there, Pac. It was great catching up. Red, Trey, congrats on the Hall of Fame. Thanks. I told you we shouldn't have stopped to talk to X-Pac. That took forever. It's gonna be fine. And besides, we got a great diet tip out of it with that mustard thing. Red, I'm a huge fan. Can you sign this for me, please? Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen this. It was so inspiring to see you come out of nowhere and make that run to the finals. And that last match against Rhea Ripley was amazing. <laughs> Thanks for supporting me for so many years. It really means a lot. Sorry, everyone. We're running late. <laughs> Red. Commencing trip to your destination. WWE Hall of Fame ceremony. Please enjoy For the someone ride. who's in such a big hurry, you had plenty of time to stop and sign an autograph. She had a May Young Classic program from the year I was in it. I had to reward her loyalty. And we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that match versus Rhea Ripley. Coming up next is the tournament final of the 2019 May Young Classic. What started months ago with 32 women from around the world now comes down to two. Let's take a closer look at the distinct paths Red and her opponent Rhea Ripley took to get here tonight. This is my third Mae Young Classic tournament. The first year, I was just happy to be here. Last year, I made it all the way to the semi-finals. But this year will be different. This year, I win it all. There is no other possible outcome. You know, I almost feel sorry for Red. <laughs> almost. Because tonight, I'm going to annihilate her. Nothing personal, mate. Just more of a wrong place, wrong time sort of thing. A lot of people think I came out of nowhere to make a miracle run to the Mae Young Classic Finals. I hate to ruin a feel-good story, but I'm not the underdog. I've put in the work and paid my dues traveling up and down the road, defeating anyone who stood in my path. This list drives everything I do. Two years ago, when I was passed up for the first Mae Young Classic, I wrote on here that I would someday win it. Well, someday is tonight. Rhea Ripley, you can talk about how it's your turn to win, but I've got some unfortunate news for you. I'm taking your turn and there's nothing you can do about it. No matter what happens, you've made it further than anyone expected, and you should be really proud of that. I couldn't agree more. Oh, and it's probably not the best time to bring this up, but I found out Rhea Ripley had a custom jacket made that says 2019 May Young Classic winner. Seriously? Yeah. Pretty disrespectful if you ask me, since clearly she sees beating you as a formality. I mean, she must have been really sure of herself to spend money on that. It's not like you can return a custom jacket. And you should see the detail on it. Even had a picture of your face with a black eye. The resemblance was amazing. I'm gonna tear Rhea apart and make my own custom jacket out of her skin! Oh. I can't believe Rhea did that. Not a smart move on her part. Oh, she didn't. I just made that all up to motivate Red. 
Sometimes her anger can be used for good. This is by far the biggest match of Red's young career. There's so much more than that trophy on the line. Well, she looks determined to say the least. Well, she could be the most determined person in the world, but that won't make up for the fact she's never been on a stage like this before. Well, this is the third Mae Young Classic tournament appearance for her opponent, Rhea Ripley. That discrepancy in experience is gonna be a huge factor tonight. There she is, the soon-to-be winner of the Mae Young Classic Tournament. Corey, earlier you mentioned how you thought Rhea Ripley had the experience edge since this is her third Mae Young Classic. But isn't it true that, just like Red, this is her first time making it to the finals? So maybe that edge isn't as significant as you think it is. You might have a point there, Byron. I'm going to tell Rhea you said that. Oh, please don't. After months of competition, these two women who outlasted 30 others now have the opportunity to be crowned the May Young Classic winner. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is Rhea Ripley's year. She will not be denied a third time. I get that, but Red has racked up some impressive victories on the indie scene and in this tournament. This is going to be a battle. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. She scores big with the counter. Boom! Running FTO plants him. Nicely done. What a punch! From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! She's gaining momentum here, guys. She's executing on her plan perfectly. You guys are so cute. Oh my God, a clothesline! This is a big risk, will it pay off? Look at this! That's not what she was going for. It better not be. One. Two! What a throw! Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker. I'm backbreaker. Four. Harsh impact. Five. Six. Oof. Seven. Back in from the floor. It's impressive and honestly a little frightening just how intimidating Ray Ripley is at such a young age. She is such a chip on her shoulder. I agree, but I would never say that to her face though, Michael. Cover here. One, two, a kick out after one. She's not done yet. 
I don't know if I'd exactly agree with you guys about Ripley having a chip on her shoulder. I don't think she... And look at this. This is impressive. Looking at it here. I'm shocked. I didn't think she had a chance against Rhea. Respect to Red. Hey, we've heard about this dream list of accomplishments she has. Well, this is certainly going to be a very big one to cross off. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the 2019 May Young Classic, Red! And now we have the presentation of the May Young Classic trophy. Named after a trailblazer and legend in our business. And who knows, maybe this is the start of another legendary career. Not to get ahead of ourselves or take away from this moment, but you do have to wonder what's next for Red. Oh, we'll have to wait and see, but clearly she's put herself on the map with the decision makers here in WWE. Well, emotions getting the best of Rhea Ripley. This is not how she envisioned this night ending. Nonetheless, congratulations again to Red. <laughs> ah, I knew you could do it. Thanks. This is heavier than it looks like on TV. I'll take it. You need a free hand anyway. Win May Young Classic Tournament. Done. That trophy was supposed to go home with me tonight. Yeah? Well, maybe next time don't assume you're going to beat me. I heard about your custom jacket. What are you talking about? Uh, no need to get into that right now. Whatever. We'll finish this some other time. Congrats again. You were really impressive out there tonight. Thank you so much for the opportunity. So, if I can ask, what's next? We have your info. Maybe we'll contact you for a tryout match sometime. Uh, I, I appreciate that, but I just won the May Young Classic. Haven't you seen enough? We don't want to rush into anything. Hunter, come on. He's messing with you. Sorry for trying to have some fun around here. Look, the truth is we've seen more than enough. And we think you're amazing. And that's why we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Wow. I'm speechless. Thank you. This is everything I have ever worked for and dreamed of. You've certainly earned it. Um, I just have one request. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can make it happen. I'd like you to sign my friend Trey. <laughs> Good one. I guess I deserve that after I messed with you. I'm not joking. What? You need to think very carefully about what you're asking. I already have. You really don't have to do I this. I know I don't have to, but I want to. We're a package deal, remember? So if you really want to sign me, then you're signing him too. And if that doesn't work on your end, then I walk. No hard feelings. I certainly wasn't expecting that kind of ask, but I respect your loyalty. That goes a long way in this business. But that being said, your friend here wasn't really part of our plans, but if you want to vouch for him, then you have a deal. Both of you. Congratulations. Oh, are you freaking serious? What was that? You just risked everything for me. Aren't you happy? I am, but, but you stood up to the COO of WWE like you were some kind of big shot. That was insane. I'll admit it was a bit of a Hail Mary, but it worked, didn't it? <laughs> we're best friends. I wasn't going to do this without you. That's the deal we made. Well, thank you. It's the <laughs> nicest thing anyone's ever done for me, and that includes getting adopted. I promise you won't regret it. It was the right thing to do. Now just show them why you belong here. I will. Hey, I just realized we can cross off another list item. Well, sort of. Compete on NXT. <laughs> oh, yeah. We wrote that back when NXT was a reality show. Eh, close enough. 